What's up guys, today we're gonna take apart the Razer Phone 2. This is the 2018 edition. This is their second lineup of their phones. First thing you're gonna wanna do, pop out the SIM tray. It's on this side right here. All right, once you got the SIM tray out, you're gonna start from the back. This year's is a little bit different. Last year's you would start from the front, you'd remove the uh, front facing speaker grills and there were screws underneath it. This year, you actually have to remove the back panel over here and there's gonna be screws underneath that. So go ahead and heat up the back so you can loosen the adhesive. Once you heated it up, use a pry tool, preferably plastic, so you don't damage the frame. But if you need to, you can use a razor or something thin like that to get in between the frame and the back plate. Now once you do, just go ahead and use your pry tool, which I'm going to use a guitar pick on my end. So here's your back plate. Put that aside. You got 20 visible Phillips screws you're gonna need to remove throughout the phone. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you got all your screws removed, over here is gonna be your LED light up panel that lights up the Razer logo on the back of the phone. You can use a Razer to lift up the corners, which are attached. So you can peel off. Just the bottom portion only. Alright, next use your pry tool to pry up the top plastic portion. Just be careful, don't pry it up all the way because there's a connector over here with the cable. You're gonna have to disconnect. Got a cable right there on the board. Just go ahead and pop it up and off the board. So it basically goes for the light up panel in the front that lights up uh, the back of the phone. All right, next go ahead and remove this metal shield over here. And go ahead and disconnect your cable over here for your battery. Next, go ahead and disconnect this cable over here that leads to your wireless charging pad. Alright, now basically you're going to have to lift this metal piece over here, which the battery is actually adhered to from the back side. So once you lift this up, the battery is going to come up with it. All right, so here's your battery right here. You got your vibrator motor down here. All right, next, go ahead and disconnect this cable over here, which leads to the charging board down here.
and you got a black, white, and blue cable. Go ahead and disconnect those as well. Next, you got a cable over here. Go ahead and disconnect this one as well. You got one more black cable down here in the corner. Lift that up, separate it from the board. And you got two Phillips screws you have to remove. You got one over here in this corner, and you have one over here on top. Go ahead and remove those. All right, next you're gonna remove this protective tape over here. Just peel it off over here. And then you're gonna disconnect the front facing camera from the board. All right, next, you're gonna lift up the board from the right top corner. You're gonna face it this way. So lift it towards you. And be careful, this cable is still uh, attached underneath it. This cable is gonna be your cable for your screen. Now, once you face it this way, you can see there's a Phillips screw over here. Go ahead and remove that. The shield that's covering it. Now you can disconnect the cable from your board. So here's the back side of the board. Here's some thermal paste over here, which touches this copper piece over here that goes to the frame of the phone. Alright, now your main cameras are over here. The connectors over here, so if you wanted to disconnect them right here, there's a screw, Phillips screw. Remove that Phillips screw, and then remove that metal shield over it, and then you can pop the connector off and remove these cameras. Next, you got a protective sticker, a yellow one over here. Go ahead and remove that off this cable. Alright, now go ahead and disconnect this black, white, and blue cable off this charger port board. Okay, now you got five more Phillips screws you have to remove. Go ahead and remove those. All right, next, go ahead and disconnect this cable that's attached to the charger port board. Now, be careful because your charger port is still attached to this board. So separate it from the frame. Once it pops out, then you can lift this board up. And in case your charger port ever goes bad, you'd have to basically replace this board. All right, now basically all you're left is with the 
earpiece on top, the speaker on bottom, your front facing camera over here. And if you, to, if you need to remove the bottom speaker over here, you have a Phillips screw. You have to remove right there and it'll just pop off. Same thing with the top one. You got two Phillips screws on the top. You have to remove those screws and you can lift up this plastic that's holding your earpiece or earpiece speaker up here. So basically aside from that, all that's left is your screen over here. That's attached to the frame. And this is a cable for your screen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. Let's go ahead and put a charger port back in. Press lighten your charger port in its slot. Just make sure these cables don't get stuck underneath it. Put your board back in its place. And then go ahead and put your screws back in. Alright, once you got your screws in place, Connect this cable back on the charger port board. And then next, go ahead and connect the white, blue, and black cables back on the charger port board as well. All right, once you've got those cables connected, go ahead and put your main board back. So first put your screen cable back on, connect it. the shield back over. And screw the shield back in place. Once that's in place, put your main board back. You're gonna put the left side in first. At an angle like that. Just make sure your cables don't get stuck underneath them or underneath the board. Pop your board back in the slot. All right, next go ahead and reconnect your cables. All right, next go ahead and put the screws for your motherboard back in. All right, now go ahead and put the battery with the metal back plate back in. And then go ahead and connect your wireless charging pad back to the main board. Now go ahead and connect your battery cable. And then you're gonna put your metal shield back in. All right now, just make sure this metal bracket over here, this metal shield, stays straight. If it doesn't, you could just kind of adjust it through the holes over here, but you're gonna to need to put the screw through the plastic and then through that metal shield. So go ahead and connect this cable back to your main board.
Once that's connected, put this plastic piece back in. Alright now, reattach this adhesive over here for the light panel and then go ahead and screw all your Phillips screws back in. Alright once you've got all your screws back in place, you go ahead and take your back cover Put it back on. If you need to apply some heat to make the adhesive bond better, go ahead and power on the phone and you're done.